Right, to draw an isometric drawing. Um, the first thing is to start out by drawing basically a block of material that would have the three major dimensions of the object that you're going to be drawing. Uh, that would be your length, your breadth, and your height. Right, so first of all, we need to count the number of blocks for the length of it. And I have counted over here that I have got 10 blocks going in that direction. I must count the number of blocks for the width of it, and I count five blocks over here. And then to count the number of blocks for the height of it, I must count seven blocks. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in height. So the height of it is seven blocks. What I'm going to do then is I'm then going to draw what we call a fish tank of the ten by seven by five. Right, here we go. Um, pick a block over here and I draw ten blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks in that direction. I draw seven blocks going vertically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. And then I go five blocks up here. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Right, once I've got that, I can now construct the rest of the block by drawing vertical lines going up from there and there, and then just draw some construction lines going across to those two lines that I just drew. Draw that a bit darker. There to there, and there to there, and then darken these ones in a bit, just to give you the idea as to what I'm doing. Draw a construction line going across here. A construction line going across here. Right. At the end of the day, you should be able to see basically a rectangular block of material that we can now cut this thing out of. Right. Once you've done that, you can then start cutting away the little bits that you need to cut away. It says over here, one, two blocks across. So we're going to draw dark, one, two blocks across there. Then goes up one block. I'm up one block. See it goes two blocks that direction at the bottom. So I'm going to do two blocks that direction in the bottom. And I'm doing these nice and dark so that you guys can see clearly this idea. Right, little concept that you need to get here. You'll see that because it's a three-dimensional drawing, there will always be three lines going into each corner. Over here, you can see one, two, I'm missing a line. Where must that line go? There's that line going back over there. All right. Um, over here goes two blocks up over there. So I can draw two blocks up. Here again, one, two lines going in. And it must go across by one block. Right, I need a line going back over here. It goes one, two, three blocks back. One, two, three blocks back. And then it goes up two blocks. It goes across one block. And so basically what I'm doing over here is I'm drawing the front view of it. Two blocks. three blocks. One, two, three blocks up. Something like that. And you'll sort of see that your front view is beginning to take shape. Right. You can see that I need a slope going back over here. How would I do that? I'm going to just draw some construction lines over here. Construction line going from the top of it and a construction line going straight up over here. So you can see the number of blocks. One, two blocks going up and one, two blocks going across. So I can go 
one two blocks up and one two blocks across. That would give me that point over there. I can now join up there to there. Then goes one block across and one block down. All right, once you've got that, let's start with the top view. There it is. It goes one, two blocks across and one, two blocks down. So I can draw that in. Okay. Um, this over here goes across. I know that this length over here is five blocks across, but you'll note that I'm not trying to count anything here because I automatically know with my fish tank that it's already five blocks to that line over there. I'm going to do the same over there and darken that in. Right, goes one block down over here and it goes one, two blocks across and one, two blocks across there. Two blocks down, two blocks down, two blocks across, two blocks across. Two blocks down, and that links up with the fish tank side over here, over there. There we go. There we go. Two blocks across over here. One block up. Actually, goes two blocks up, but that would be hidden detail over there. Got two lines, one, two. I need a third line over here. And I'm coming back. Right, that's more or less it. You've got two lines coming into that corner, so I need a third line going back. And over here, same story, two lines coming into that corner, so I need a third line coming back. Here, one block down, one block across. One block up, one block up. I'm going across. Got two lines coming into that corner. Need that third line. Right, you've also got that little block in the center to be cut out. It's a little hole going through it. So I've got this back corner that I must also draw in. So I've got that, you'll see that there's a little corner cut out there, another little hole going in there, that one, and that one. Right, remember what I said about the three lines coming out of each corner? If I had to, I could put hidden detail in on this drawing. So over here I've got one, two lines coming into that corner, so I know that I've got hidden detail. How far does that hidden detail go back? Well, it would go back two blocks because this little foot over here is the same as that little foot over there. Two blocks back and one block up. Right, um, this over here, you can see it's gone the one block, there's another block over there and one block up. This little block over here, can go two blocks back, one, two blocks, and blocks there. And you can see those little feet developing at the bottom over there. There would be hidden detail over there, but it's been covered over by this solid line over here. And you can try and do the hidden detail for the rest of it. Good luck.